Okay, this is on the Lindy job, number 54396, installed on 1025 by Lincoln. <clears throat> so, if you come down the stairs, they do have a basement exit entrance here. Um, but we're replacing this furnace. We are leaving the AC. Um, we have to uninstall the humidifier and reinstall it on our new piece of duct. Sorry, I tried to do it without doing that, but it wouldn't fit. Um, anyway, so the new furnace, so it's customer provided furnace. The furnace is in the garage. Um, and it's kind of an off brand name, but looks like a Lennox to me <laughs> but it's not anyway um, it's 35 inches tall our furnace will sit on a 9 inch base furnace and then the existing coil then I made a 17 inch piece of duct and that should be able to fit this from slip to slip exactly um, and then I made you a little three inch transition here. Um, sorry, you have no canvas. So um, if you need to adjust a piece, you can probably adjust this because 17 was from slip to slip, but we're actually have an OCP on the bottom. So um, yeah, you get the point. Um, duck just as it shows on there. So your cut line is on the side, right there. This ply, I wrote it above the humidifier too. It's one inch, you know, at the bottom of the slip. <coughs> your return air is cut line right there and uh, one inch from the sides. Your duct is gonna come out to here basically and then I'll set back um, your furnace will sit one and three quarters of an inch off the back wall oh wait okay let's see one and three quarters off the back wall also my bottom will be flat that's where I knew I was and anyway um, I just have an adjustment to make. Um, so if my bottom's flat, that means my cut line's gonna change an inch. But I'll we look at that. Um, okay. Anyway, um, we had to redo this because we're getting a you know the bigger filter box and. Um, his 12 by 24 just isn't quite big enough for the 410 AC he has. <clears throat> okay. Oh no, I did bottom flat. Okay. So I don't need to adjust the cut line. Sorry. I did it. We did it a few different times on that one. So combustion air is okay. It's right there. Your vent, you're going to vent two inch PVC. So you're going to have to probably vent out that side. Um, and let me walk over there and show you. And you can see our AC line here. Our AC is two feet over from the center of that line to the edge of our AC and it goes that way. So two feet, yeah you're like right in the middle of the edge of the dock. So if it's easier you might be able to come out this side and then 90 that way and then out. But 
Um, you got that nice open spot right there that you can go through. Okay, on the um, water heater, I'm just going to remove the flex here. Remove this uh, 5x4 reducer and put on a 5 inch strip cap. <clears throat> One thing I neglected to say is the new coil is going to sit up 11 inches higher than it is now. So the top of the coil is going to be right here basically, right under the humidifier. On your line set, you do have, you know, 11 inches you can go up. So you can try to lift this up and strap it without cutting the line set. I'm going to give you a filter dryer just in case because it'll be close. <laughs> I'll be kind of surprised if you can, but it'll save you a lot of time if you can do it without cutting it. Um, okay, gas. So you're going to remove the flex and just uh, twist the T straight. Put on an 18 inch, a 90, and a 6 inch, and a 12 inch out of the furnace, and a 90 and a flex. Oh, I thought that was 14. It's 4 inch. <laughs> um, AC, leave as is. Make sure coil is clean. I just went over that. Drain to the floor, standard order with the humidifier. Stat, so leave the existing Ecobee thermostat. Looks like they have an eight wire, so you can wire it up, wire it up for two stage. Um, and they also have a humidifier wired to it. They have a relay right here. So I know on these Ecobees, I did one um, that you can run a single wire and then it, or run two wire. But um, this one he has wired up with the relay. So I would just say, wire this up exactly the way it is and reuse the relay and reuse the wires. So you don't have to mess with it. Um, and he was fine with that as well. Humidifier, reuse and remount. Wire in the relays just as they are. New furnace will sit in the same place as the existing, but it'll sit one and three quarter inches from the back wall. Power, oh, I forgot that. I'm gonna put on a, uh, Actually, we're going to leave the power as is. It has a combo switch and everything, so leave it as is. Um, that's it.